What's up, everybody? My name is Tommy Griffith. I'm one of the co-founders of ClickMinded. Today, we're going to be talking about how to write prompts that 10x your chat GPT results. This is an exact step-by-step -step tutorial on how I use an AI prompt generator to do all the work for me. Now we're going to be diving in deep on prompt engineering today. And most importantly, I think the biggest takeaway from this tutorial is that prompt engineering, in my opinion, is the most valuable thing you can be learning right now. Prompt engineering is the equivalent of learning how the internet works in 1995. It's the equivalent of learning how SEO works in 2006, or maybe what Bitcoin is in 2010 or what Facebook ads are in 2012. This is, the only thing that matters right now, the ability, in a sense, to talk to robots. Your ability to talk to robots is going to dictate a lot of the future, and that behavior is called prompt engineering. So we're gonna be talking about what that is and how important it is, and the exact way that we do it here at ClickMinded. So let's go over some of the basics before we dive deep into the actual prompt engineering. So first up, the fundamentals of human behavior and marketing to humans has not changed. Even though we have AI to market to people, the fundamentals have not changed. With that said, generative AI has given us tools to automate and reduce the repeatable marketing work. That's an important thing to keep in mind here. We now have marketing co-pilots. These are assistants to you. We do not have marketing pilots, at least not yet. We still need a human in the loop for a lot of these things. I think we might need fewer humans in the very near future, and humans may need to do less work, but we still need at least one human to pilot the actual work. So do keep that in mind. These things are not fully automated yet. You still want a human in the loop reviewing and doing final approval. Another thing to keep in mind, and so many people get this wrong, if you look at artificial intelligence and you look at LLMs and you look at how incredible they are, everyone assumes that when you talk to a chatbot, when you talk to ChatGPT or any of the other ones, you assume you're getting the best possible answer with no additional work. And that's incorrect. You are not automatically getting the genius, brilliant PhD level answer by default. The way to think about the response from ChatGPT that you're seeing is this. LLMs are trained on internet data. The entire internet is inside that LLM that you're using. Internet data is the average of everything. On average, people are average. That's how averages work. On average, internet data is average. So on average, your answers from an LLM are going to be average. Profound stuff here, right? It's really, really groundbreaking. But the problem is this, people assume that ChatGPT is going to default to the best answer, and that's incorrect. There are dumb answers, average answers, and brilliant answers inside of the LLM. You can pick any one of them. You can say, talk to me like I'm a dumb five-year-old. Talk to me like I'm a brilliant PhD professor. Talk to me like I'm something in between. You have to seek out the brilliant answers. The LLM is not going to default to genius. The onus is on you. It is your personal responsibility to solicit the best answer from the chatbot. This means that prompt engineering is extremely important. Your prompts need to be absolutely remarkable to get the best outputs. Average prompts are going to return average answers. And if you've been using chatbots and you've been unimpressed, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you are the one who is unimpressive. You need to fix this. So the way to fix this is with the formula. There's a bunch of these out there, but this is the one that we like to use the most. And it goes like this, persona, context, task, example, format, and tone. The persona tells the chatbot who you want them to be. The context explains the reason for the request. The task actually makes the request. The example, usually that's something similar that you want. Maybe it's a competitor or maybe it's something you're drawing inspiration from. The format is the format that you want the answer in. And then the tone, determine the tone that you want the answer in as well. So let's look at some examples now. Here's an example of a bad prompt. Give me some tips on what to do and where to go when my friend visits me in New York next week. Extremely average prompt. We should probably expect an extremely average output. Here's an example of a good prompt using the formula. 
You are New York City's highest rated tour guide. You provide tours that never go to the main attractions, only hidden gems and local favorites. Tim, a 35-year-old software engineer, is visiting New York soon. Create a comprehensive three-day itinerary for him. Use this Airbnb experience for inspiration and then a link to the Airbnb experience. Organize the itinerary into morning, afternoon, and night for each day. Use a serious and accurate tone. Now we can break down this good prompt and look at what parts of the formula are being used. We have the persona, you are New York City's highest rated tour guide. The context, Tim, a 35 year old software engineer is visiting New York soon. The task, create a comprehensive three day itinerary. The example, use this Airbnb experience for inspiration. The format, organize this itinerary into morning, afternoon and night. And then the tone, use a serious and accurate tone. So now we can take a look at the outputs. Here's the output from our bad prompt. Give me some tips on what to do and where to go when my friend visits me in New York. And here we go. We're getting the very average results. Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, Central Park, Metropolitan Museum, the MoMA, Broadway, Times Square. It's not bad. It's better than nothing, but I think we can all agree that this is pretty average. Now let's take a look at our good prompt. Tim's three-day New York itinerary. Day one, exploring Brooklyn. Breakfast at Tom's Restaurant. The Brooklyn Botanical Gardens. Lunch at Smorgasbord. The Street Art Walk in Bushwick. So you can see there, both answers were inside the LLM. The average answer and the extraordinary answer. By using a highly engineered prompt formula, you can get significantly better answers out of ChatGPT. The simple way to think about this is this. Ordinary inputs will give you ordinary outputs. Extraordinary inputs will give you extraordinary outputs. Now there is an alternative to this strategy. Of course, average mediocre prompts are worse than highly contextual, highly engineered prompts. We just showed you those two outputs. However, you can use different tools that will take your average ordinary prompts and turn them into extraordinary prompts. And that's what I wanna show you right now. We have the click-minded prompt generator. And at a high level, all you need to do is come to this thing and give it your average, low effort, very mediocre prompt, and it will force you to create an amazing one. So all you need to do is bring your mediocre self to the click-minded prompt generator, and it will force you through a prompt boot camp and give you the prompt that you need for extraordinary results. So let's take a look at that now. I'm in the click minded prompt generator. This is in the click minded members area. If you click the create button on the left hand side and you scroll down to prompt generator, you'll see it there. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to type in something very simple. Make a prompt for creating an itinerary for what to do and where to go when my friend visits me in New York next week. So we're still using that very mediocre prompt, but we're just saying, hey, make a prompt for this and we'll see what it says. And there we go, roll, act as a local New York City tour guide. Instructions, create a comprehensive and engaging itinerary for a friend's name who's visiting New York. The context, the constraints, examples. So we're gonna take this prompt and we're gonna throw it into ChatGPT and we're gonna see what we get. So I'm in ChatGPT now, I'm in a temporary chat window, so my previous prompts are not affecting the output at all. I'm gonna paste in that prompt and see what, see what we get. So right away, ChatGPT tells me what it needs. I need the missing details to generate a full itinerary, friend's name, start date of visit, number of days, interest or preferences, and budget level. So this is a fantastic way to force ChatGPT to give you additional context and give you no other choice but to create an extraordinary prompt. So let's give it the data it's asking for and we'll keep going. Okay, so I just came up with some answers for ChatGPT so that it can finish its results. Friend's name is Kyle, visiting September 1st for 10 days. He loves museums, hates major tourist attractions, loves tacos and hates the Yankees. And he wants to stay in a $300 to $500 per night hotel. Let's send that in and see what we get. And here we go. Here is a 10 day New York itinerary for Kyle aligned with his preferences. Focus, museum, local flavor, tacos, hidden gems, avoided, Yankees, ultra tourist icons, mid-range hotel budget, $300 to $500 a night, September weather, warm, early fall, light layers. 
We have the Ludlow Hotel on the Lower East Side or the Arlo Soho. Stroll the Lower East Side and dinner at Los Tacos Number 1 in Chelsea Market or Tribeca. The next day, the Frick Madison, uh, the new gallery, German and Austrian art, and then another dinner at Taqueria Ramirez in Greenpoint. The Whitney Museum, Hudson River Park. So you can see here, my initial prompt to the prompt generator was still very mediocre. Make me a prompt for an itinerary in New York. Using the prompt generator, it forced me to give ChatGPT an input that asked for more additional data, and then it gave me a great output. The reason why we love this tool is because it's mindless. You do not need to know the formula. You do not need to be thoughtful. You can start with incredible mediocrity, and it forces you to create a fantastic prompt. So we highly recommend using the ClickMinded AI Prompt Generator. It is a fantastic way to massively improve your ChatGPT results. So that's it. That was a high level overview of how to write prompts that 10X your ChatGPT results. You can use the formula and do it manually each time, or you can use the ClickMinded AI Prompt Generator. That's what I use every single day. We highly recommend you try that. Now I have a challenge for you. If you've recently been prompting an AI chatbot and you haven't gotten good results, or you have an upcoming project that really depends on high quality prompting, please try the ClickMinded AI Prompt Generator. There's a link down below to try it for free right now. Thanks a lot.